how's your relationship with your coworkers in the workplace? First off, I hate my job. And my boss Karen is stupid. Pure stupid. And I already told you about Marvin's stupid ass. He is perverted. Chasing little cheering and shit. And the rest of motherfuckers can't hold my job scrap. I mean that. Oh, my damn hi. I am your one o'clock massage appointment. Hmm. Not what I expected. Come on in. Like the new conference table? Uh, look just like the old one. Well, this one is a lot more woodier. Same damn thing. I left this mug up here. I just want to leave it just at the same time. Exactly. So, today's meeting is going to be a fun one. Today, we're going to learn how to effectively communicate with each other better. What? Yes! There's this test we can take that's going to tell us what type of person you are. Well, Marvin's a piece of shit. So. Yo, mama a piece of shit. You never called me back! Trick ain't had your number in the first place. So, what Man. the test is going to tell us is whether you're a red, blue, green, or yellow type of personality. This sounds stupid. No, no, it'll be fun. Damn, Karen. She's slamming these something. Huh? You're like a Harry Potter book. Come on, guys. Don't think of it as an assignment. Think of it like in the end you'll be getting something you always wanted. Something like, like, a menage a trois with Samuel Jackson and Morgan Freeman, narrated by James Earl Jones with Samuel at the front door, Morgan at the back, sweating profusely. Mm. Yeah. What the fuck wrong with this bitch? She's nasty as fuck. I don't see. Well, well, well. And this thing does it again. What do you want, Leonard? <sighs> Lenny. Call me Leonard. One more time, I'm gonna drop kick you. I'd like uh, to see that. Anyway, I want to take you to get some ice cream so we can celebrate. I mean, out of all the times that I kicked your ass in court, now you trying to celebrate? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> see, that was when you was kicking my ass. It's fun to watch you do it to somebody else. <laughs> Come on now, just come on. Just as friends. I mean, it wouldn't be anything else, so. Ah, see, that's what I'm talking about. I know the perfect place. I really cannot believe I fell for that whole ambiance thing. I know, like, it was crazy. What was I thinking? I don't know. And then my dad, my oh, dad came. showed up. <laughs> I know that wait, was a list. Wait, how I'm we doing? I'm a <laughs> We doing all right, thank you. Look, I don't want to sound corny or anything, but I was running and, and you kind of caught my eye. Oh. <laughs> you know, 
ever been known to stop a little traffic? Seen the accident yesterday? It was all me and the 85 bridge collapse. So you was the crackhead. <laughs> what you trying to say? Look, I'm sorry. Um, your friend here. How are you? I'm Devin. Nice to meet you, Devin. I'm Alexis. You're not a photographer by chance. Oh, no, not at all. Unless you count iPhone photography, but that's it. <laughs> okay, cool. I am not trying to meet any more photographers. Hey, what you got against them? One had her all out in the woods, make her take her shirt off. I just... Oh, man, you got to be careful out here in Atlanta. These so-called photographers behind you out here looking crazy just to get you naked. So you don't try to get girls naked? Oh, no, I'm a gentleman. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, I'll prove it. I won't even ask for your number until I see you again. Well, how do you know you'll see me again? Because I'm sure you'll catch my eye again. Oh, that was so corny. <laughs> oh, damn. I can't get nowhere with you. How I'm supposed to buy me a damn man if they always coming to you? <laughs> I might as well just go ahead and prepare to be single for the rest of my life. Sorry. <laughs> Wait, what you doing with all this? Oh, well, this is, uh, I mean, the, the lotion helps me, um, Moisturize me, help me get my fingers with it. Uh-uh, see, now look, I'm I'm not into all that freaky shit, okay? I just came for the regular. Uh, this this is the regular, ma'am. What, what are you? No, see, all the other women that I talk to, they ain't say nothing about no lotion. What are you talk? Wait a minute. You think I'm here to... So you didn't want the... Okay, look, there's, there's been a misunderstanding. I mean, clearly, because I don't understand why the hell my feet not touching the ceiling yet. Look, now, I only did that, uh, one, two, three. Too many damn times, okay? I am not a male gigolo, okay? I'm a trained professional here to do my job, okay? I am more than a dick appointment. Baby. <laughs> No, you're not. You ain't more than no dick appointment. <laughs> Damn. I mean, is there a problem? Look, now, I only... I did it one time because the situation called for it. I'm just trying to do my job, lady. I don't... I ain't trying to be no hoe. Aw. You have feelings. Yes. Yes, I do. Huh. Man, why here Karen ass ain't out here? Man, you know she can't be caught mangling with the common folk. Mm. Come on, guys. She's doing her best. Shut, shut up. up. Man, shut the fuck up. Okay, see, look at this question. What would you do if a coworker ate your lunch? Now, personally, I'd drop kick him in the throat, but I don't see that as an option. Look at this one. If a coworker doesn't call you back after a night of passion, does that mean he's playing hard to get? Mm. Man, bro, will you let that shit go? That game was dry, garbage, bullshit. Coochie dried on the motherfucker. I'm, damn it, will you? It's out of no. Just let that shit go. Mm -mm. Yeah, I know, my boy. Man, I'm at work with these goof-ass motherfuckers. One of these little girls keep telling about sucking another co-worker dick and shit. What's going on? Out of curiosity, what Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Boy, you had old girl banging on the door about 3 a.m. in the morning. What the hell? Yeah, yeah. We were some wild boys back then. Wait. Wait a minute. What did you say? Oh, shit. My boy Otto coming back to the A. Man, I'm so glad you... Look here. Hit me up as soon as you touch time tomorrow. 
homecoming party in full effect, baby. Hit me up. All right? All right. Nice to these dumb little niggas. Shit, they saying that they really running up a check, but they ain't college trying to get some knowledge from a professor who probably teaching cause he couldn't make it to the place he dreamed of when he was growing up. You niggas always trying to go get a little buck, but I'm just trying to make it cause my dad ain't had no job since June and my mama's unemployed. What the fuck I'm gonna do? Well, hardly been having any type of company. Oh, I got some young niggas looking up to me too. She loving the crew. I told us very young from the Mac town. David Brown, and she really with it. I'ma take her down. But hiding now for a minute, trying to finish my mission. But these bitches blocking my.